Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Hey guys, I was missing you and today we're continuing uh, the good old Rise of the Robots campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but robots and psionics. Isn't that a joy? Um, yeah, it is actually a joy. I really like how the robots have performed so far gonna go and uh, say that this here is gonna be a banger of a mission archons mutants chrysalids which are fan uh, fantastic to begin with on terror missions berserks codices well, this is just going to be an uh, a joyful experience we haven't seen the archon um, king for a while so although i've said it a couple of times beforehand i will uh, make that bet again and say he is going to be in this mission Got a Templar right there got two of our Psy operatives uh, make everything available. Yes, please and whilst we're on it Mind shield just in case quick feet Takes one full set and uh, let's give him the plasma rifle. He needs uh, the aim bonus a bit more. Bobby already has a pretty decent aim bonus. Gets the mimic beacon. And we take the 15% repeater right here. Also has a pretty nice armor. I would like to kill that, uh, mm, that alien ruler to finally get his armor. We got the Shredstorm cannon two big massive rocket launchers which are going to help us to remove cover and that should be more than enough to go in the mechs are on their way again good boys and it is time for some robotic rampage all right we just landed and it is funnily enough a nice mission where we uh, got some support and the game also throws us some high ground over here I'm not going to reject that offer, so let's take a look and see if we can move towards the high ground. Of course, we're also not going to just blindly charge in. That's not our style. Controlled XCOM play for the win. Advancing. Let's get that fire line set up in at the same time putting Roby and quick feed over here that's a solid overwatch for everyone but quick feed And we already see that there is an Archon somewhat near. Oh boy. I am already seeing what's happening here. And I don't like it at all. Chrysalids. Blech. Berserks are okay. They are just strong and do a lot of damage, but they don't replicate. Good. This here will trigger a lot of the enemies right away. Bring it on, Chrysalids. Bring it on. High ground versus uh, the ability to hit these guys. I really would like to get that high ground. Okay, we're instead just gonna move in. Like I said, blue screen moves first. One, two, vector. 
could take the high ground. I don't feel like it though. I'm on my way. I think that this high ground here will be much better. The other one is just too far away. Move in, move in, perfect, good. So, domination. So, wait, 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 wait. You were saying that I can be a chrysalid? And that means that I could spawn new chrysalids by killing enemies? Um, okay, I've never done that, but I find it highly, highly intriguing. Yeah, 36% might not be the best chance. I know this will trigger the Archon, which I don't want. And I also want the kill on our Templar. So let's prep the Chrysalid. There we go, nicely prepared. And this here is a nice little two for one. Oh boy. Almost two for one. So much for not triggering these guys. All right, so much for not triggering these guys. Yeah, we got stasis, so we could theoretically take one of them out. I feel like a solid overdrive could work wonders. Still preserving some of our consumables here. The dream of a mind control chrysalid must wait for another day. For now, all of them are killed. Taking out this guy here. In the meantime, we are starting to kill the mutant. He's probably going for one of uh, the poor schmucks standing here. Yep, they are down. But the resistance will always have an answer. And the answer in this case is that the ground uh, resistance on the ground is effectively finishing him off absolutely love by the way how their conventional weapons now deal six points of damage fantastic moving in and losing line of sight fantastic Continuing to prep the Archon. 100% shots, by the way, cannot be dodged from him. Or maybe they changed that with War of the Chosen as well. They used to not be dodgeable for NPCs. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. 
We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. All right, so let's set up that fire line again. Good, very good. Haven't lost a lot of time here. This pack, by the way, is just pretty, pretty, pretty nasty. I mean, luckily the guys uh, deal a lot of damage, so they already got one of uh, the Codices down. But boy, oh boy, that is a pretty big enemy, uh, pack of enemies right there. Scanning approach vector. Good. Movement, movement. We're taking vector here. Maximum thrust confirmed. Good. Magister follows up and our psionic characters follow a little bit behind. They can't keep up with the tempo. Okay, well, the enemy strikes back, that's for sure. And we're losing a couple of civilians. Are you kidding me? That um, so, so that's a funny interaction, but a sad one at the same time. So this codex gets uh, gets duplicated by being shot at, teleports into range of us, then starts to discover us, and thus the entire pack is getting discovered. Well, at least codex is down. This here would be such a great opportunity for an explo uh, explosion, but I don't want to kill all of our troops as well. All right, high ground it is. Let's poke the uh, wasp nest. Yeah, surprise. Surprise, surprise. This guy is burning. Fantastic start. Overdriving. Oh wow, it's difficult to even get this guy without hitting a civilian and or our car. The answer is we probably won't. Like I said, fantastic options to use our heavy weapons. At the same time, incredibly dangerous to do that. Second overdrive. We will probably just need to kill these guys. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, oh, that's a problem. We can't hit this guy without hitting our own uh, soldiers. Huh. 
<laughs> okay. Now that is pretty bad. Alright, someone will die. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Good, I mentioned earlier how we couldn't use our heavy weapons so well. Yeah, it turns out we still can use them pretty damn well. Theoretically got a Mimic Beacon. Got another Mimic Beacon ready here. Let's do a little trickerino, shall we? Moving to here. This means we can not inspire him. What the actual hell? I thought we could simply move, uh, give him the inspiration and then he can charge in and deal with these guys. Apparently I was very wrong. And to not get an epidemic of uh, these chrysalids, we're using another explosive. Perfect, that's another one down. This here is going to be a distraction. And we're just overwatching. I wish uh, the trick would have worked uh, with the inspiration. It would have been a uh, much cooler play. Um, okay. Berserker just doesn't care. Let's go. Resistance folks need to reload. That is not optimal. Very good. Paces one takes some severe damage. High ground is a perfect idea. What? Why haven't you reloaded the many times beforehand where you were just basically standing around? I'm not going to contemplate the life choices. Let's just assume they were acting in good faith and were trying to do the best they can. Honest mistakes happen. And to be honest, that mutant didn't necessarily play so well by positioning himself right in the middle 
as well. So both sides our uh, our support forces on the ground as well as the enemies were not necessarily playing to their to the best of their abilities. We're going to parry. We're going to move up and this might be a solid kill. I promised you a banger of a mission. It was a pretty easy banger, but it was a banger nonetheless. We wiped the floor with them. And we are landing again. I suppose no one got a promotion. Nope, as per the usual. Even after almost 30 missions, it takes a while to promote the sparks. I guess they're just taking longer to uh, reach the highest rank. Cool, good. Got 42 supplies, which is fantastic. Not that it matters all too much, but yeah, our supplies just got slashed into half with the dark event. So maybe it matters a bit. No, we don't need uh, that. Pretty much okay on all of it. I could technically upgrade all of the other items, but I really don't see a huge need for that. Also, kind of speaks for the uh, for the run that we're doing if none of these weapons are upgraded. It's effectively not usable for anyone but the normal classes. Yeah, and we wanted to get the um, major upgrade for the Psy Amp next, so once this here is done. Yeah, let's get the modular research rifles. Next one will be the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is going to be fantastic. Yeah, and very soon we're going to go for the chosen. Very nice. We got an uh, plus one hit point on heavy armor i think the armor of uh, the mechs also counts as heavy armor don't need that don't need that we really would like to get closer to um, killing the chosens superior weapon upgrade isn't bad either another resistance contact might be a thing that we are uh, that we're going for. So who's available? You know what? Magister can do one of those runs. Let's take Toxic together with him. And who could be the person? Uh, we don't have... Well, we could put Roby on it, but that would mean... He would be out of business for a while. I first want to do the run on the Chosen. So how long does the shaken condition last? One more day. Okay, let's just wait until that's done and then we're going to get Good, I haven't seen what the uh, what the sabotage was, but since we're now having the both of the Psy operatives available, both of the Templars are available, and the Sparks are available, the next run will be the assassination of the Assassin. The Hunter becomes the Hunted for once, and afterwards we will go for the Warlock. That's probably uh, the order of events. We're also continuing to research uh, just to get the best Psy Amps. 
and then uh, it's shadow chamber time as we're nearing the uh, more advanced storyline missions with that i thank you for joining us uh, today or joining me today and we're going to see each other in two days please don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below thank you and have a great one bye bye